Did you know Samuel Langhorn Clements filed for bankruptcy protection? You know him by his pen name, Mark Twain, the preeminent American author from Missouri who wrote The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, Following the Equator, Roughing It, as well as other short stories and sketches. Due to a bad investment in an auto typesetting machine known as the Page Compositor, that failed, he fell into financial distress and filed for bankruptcy protection in 1894. Did you also know that there have been millions of regular folks filed for bankruptcy protection that went on to be successful? This is why we have a bankruptcy system, and it comes from our Judeo-Christian founding of our great nation. It's biblically authorized, and folks should not feel ashamed by needing to file because things happen. Hello, Arkansas bankruptcy attorney Greg Niblock here, the founder of Niblock & Associates, the best bankruptcy law firm in Arkansas. I've practiced bankruptcy law since 1988 and personally filed over 15,000 bankruptcy cases. Welcome to Bankruptcy's Famous Filers, where each post highlights a famous filer to show that wildly successful and famous people need bankruptcy protection, just like regular folks. So let's talk about the case of Mark Twain. Mark Twain started his career as a typesetter while making sketches for his brother's paper. He grew as an artist and Mark Twain became the serious literary pen name of Samuel Clemens at the age of 37. Mark invested in an auto typesetting machine called the Page Compositor, which seemed like a good investment for a man with experience in typesetting. However, it didn't work out and he lost all his money, causing him serious financial trouble leading to his filing for bankruptcy protection in 1894 to get creditors off his back and discharge his debt. As you may know, this wasn't the end of Twain. He rebuilt his life through bankruptcy. He went on a lecturing tour around the world earning money to repay his debts and getting material for his next great novel, Following the Equator. Twain used bankruptcy as an opportunity to grow and improve his business and became even more well-known and successful. The case of Mark Twain is proof that one can rebuild their life through bankruptcy. While no doubt Twain wasn't happy needing to file, he was grateful that that option existed. Otherwise, it would have killed his career and killed his literary contributions to America as well as the rest of the world, such as The Tragedy of Puddinghead Wilson and Following the Equator, just to mention a few. His financial problems pushed him to connect with the world and become a more enlightened and well-rounded writer, allowing him to reach higher levels of success. However, without bankruptcy, this probably couldn't have happened. Twain died in 1910 as a successful and wealthy man with a life story most only would dream of. Now, if you would like a free copy of our special report on bankruptcy's famous filers of $14.99 value, or if you would like a free debt consultation to see if bankruptcy would help you, a $200 value, give us a call at 501-443-1829 or follow the link to let us know, www.niblocklaw.com backslash sr backslash filers. And until next time on Bankruptcy's Famous Filers, we hope that you have a great day. And if we can ever be of service, give us a call. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>